Every year I pick a product and make one for everyone in my family as a Christmas gift. And this year I made everyone customized leather luggage tags. So today I'm going to show you how I made a template and 15 of these. Let's get to it. I started by coming up with a template to work out the design and also allow me to make multiple tags efficiently later on. To make sure the luggage tag would be perfectly uniform, I started by folding a piece of paper in half and figured out what the measurements would be on one half of the tag. I knew I wanted the information insert to be about the width of a business card, so I used one to help me figure out the measurements. To leave enough room for a plastic insert and a stitching line, I made the tag a half inch wider than the business card on the sides and the back. The luggage tags are going to have a strap run through them at the front, so I left extra room at the front of an inch and a quarter. With all of that, the length of the tag ended up measuring 5.25 inches. To give the tag a little shape, I wanted to add a taper at the front. To do this, I measured an inch from the front down the side, and then a half inch from the side on the front edge. And then I just connected those two spots. To make the taper transition more gradual, I added a slight curve at each point using a container I had lying around. I also did this in the back corner as well. Then I simply cut along the line, opened the piece of paper up, and had a completely uniform luggage tag template. The luggage tag is going to have a window flap on one side that you can open to show the info card, so next I measured out where I would need to cut for the window flap. There needs to be a slight overhang to keep the plastic piece and the info card in when the window flap is opened, so I used the business card again to measure out that slight overhang, which ended up being 5 eighths of an inch from the edge. To give the template a little bit more rigidity, I used some spray adhesive to attach it to some cardstock. To determine the window flap cut lines, I set my wing dividers to the overhang measurement and then used that to score a line from one side all around to the other side. As I mentioned earlier, there will be a strap that runs through the luggage tag that will be used to both attach it to your suitcase and also keep the window closed. So next I moved on to cutting the slot for the strap to run through. I have a set of various shaped punches, so I found one that I thought would be the right size for the strap and then just sort of eyeballed where the slot should be punched. If you don't have a punch set, you could easily cut this with an X-Acto knife. I wasn't happy with the first placement, so I punched the second one and then plugged the first one so I wouldn't use the wrong one later. To keep the seam from ripping at the start and end spots of the window flap, I'm going to use my hole punch to cut a small hole at each end like I'm doing on this template. And with that, the template was ready to be put to use. I started by using my Cricut Maker to engrave my logo and my family members' initials into the leather. Then I lined up the template and used my scratch all to trace out the outline. I used my rotary cutter to cut the straight edges, and then I used my trusty X-Acto for the non-straight portions. I then repeated this whole process to get the corresponding back piece of the tag. The back piece will be where we cut the window flap, so I used the template to mark the starting and ending points of the window flap and the strap slot. Then I again used my wing dividers to score the cut line from end to end. Next, I punched the holes at each end and then used my X-Acto to cut the window flap. Then I used the punch to make the slot for the strap. To protect the info cards, I decided to cut some 6mm clear stencil material to insert between the window flap and the info card. I'll have links to this and everything else I used in the description below. The plastic needs to be wider than the window, but thinner than the template, so I made it a quarter inch wider than the window. To make this quicker for the rest of the tags, I used the first piece of plastic to make another template out of cardstock. To be able to insert and remove the info card, I needed to leave an opening at the front of the tag. 
So I measured in a half inch from the front edge and that will be the starting and ending point of the glue and stitch line. I also updated the template with slots to mark the start and end points. To attach the front and back pieces, I used Tandy Leather's Eco Weld Adhesive. You simply apply it around all the edges, wait for it to get tacky, and then press the two sides together, sandwiching the piece of plastic in between them. Next, I used the template to mark the starting and ending points of the stitch line, and then used my wing dividers to score the stitch line. Then I used my pricking irons to punch the stitching holes. To ensure the spacing between each hole stays consistent as I work my way down the line, I always make sure to place the stitching chisel point furthest to the left in the last hole of the previous set of holes I punched. I made a video dedicated to leather stitching where I go in depth into the process of how to do this saddle stitch and others and I'll leave a link above if you want to check it out. But at a high level, what I found is easiest is to just pick a sequence and stick to that. For example, I always start by using the right needle to stitch from the back and then stitch the left needle from the front into the same hole but in front and under the right needle's thread. If you continue this sequence, you'll get a very nice looking stitch pattern in my experience. With the stitching done, I moved on to cleaning up and burnishing the edges. There are tons of ways to burnish edges, but here's what I found is easiest. I start by using some 220 grit sandpaper to sand the edges flush. Then I use some tokenol leather finish to burnish the edges. I spread a small amount on the edges with my finger, rub it in a little bit, and then run my edge slicker back and forth along the edge. Then I let that dry, apply one more thin layer of tokenol on the edge again, and then use a clean piece of cloth to sort of polish the edges. I really like tokenol, and I think it's totally worth the price, but you can also use a piece of beeswax instead. With the tag pretty much done, I moved on to making the strap. The strap is essentially going to be a mini belt. I found these 3 8 inch center bar buckles, and then cut a 12 inch strip of leather that would fit in between the buckle walls. I measured and marked 2 inches from one end for where the buckle bar will run through, and then used another smaller punch to cut the slot. Then I set the buckle in place and used some eco welded adhesive to overlap the 2 inches of leather from the end back onto itself. Off camera, I again used my pricking irons to punch a set of stitching holes to help secure the overlap section again with the saddle stitch. About three stitches in, I added this very small piece of leather around the strap to act as a belt loop and then finished stitching the rest of the line. Then, from the other end of the strap, I added a few holes to secure the strap to the buckle. I started marking the first hole one and a half inches from the end, and then marked three or four more a quarter inch at a part. Then again, I used my hole punch to make all the holes, and then did a test run to make sure it would work and look right before attaching it to the tag. For the info card, I simply made three lines in Word and then printed it on some white cardstock and cut it to a shape that would work with the luggage tags. Then I simply slid it behind the piece of plastic.
Then the only thing left was to attach the strap and see how it all looked. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe and bell button. I also post a lot of behind the scenes and smaller scale projects as Ethan Carter Designs on Instagram and would love to have you follow me there as well. And with that, the tag was done.